All right, YouTube, it's your boy Drop Lows here, and today we're going to be working on the clone. Some of y'all know I got into a wreck and bent the front rim. Finally got a front rim for chronic racing and works fine. Now that I've tested the rim, though the rim works good, the next thing to do is the fork oil. And look at this jank ass setup I got going right here. Like, sheesh. Anyways. Stay tuned for the intro. I'm going to fill y'all in on what you're going to need to do this. And we about to get started. You ever seen a chopper do some damage? Niggas stepping. I ain't got a conversation. Why I tell them? You must be out of your mind. Look, my man walking the scooter got down. Look at him on the scooter. Still the king. Tell him that bitch. Who's side to the world? I'm in that way. All right, so I'm going to tell you first off, my... Dumb ass. I went ahead on and did the whole wheel thing. And as you can see, the wheel rolls fine. It's straight now. I'm shaking and shit while trying to move it. But yeah, wheel is straight. Bike is good. Tune and everything. But the forks, like, I should have showed y'all a video of a before and after with these forks. And I think I'm going to do that. Even if I got to struggle to get it back up, I'm going to show you what it's like before okay. and so this is what the forks are like before doing any kind of mod. That's like I naturally sit on the bike. As you see, I've already picked it up some. If I hit the front brake, I hear the fluid and it bottoms out heavy. And the bike really doesn't come back up until I pull it back up. So Hopefully today, that's what we're going to accomplish by getting... Oh, shit, I'm holding the camera wrong. Sheesh. Okay, yeah. Hopefully today, that's what we're going to accomplish by getting some fork oil in this thing. And maybe that will help these forks. If not, hey, that's what I'm here for. When I do all these clone videos, that's what I'm here for. I knew what it took in order to make the thing run forever. But certain Lamont's like fork oil, hey, I tell you the truth. I don't know shit about it. But we're going to figure it out because it's common fucking sense with these bikes. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what kind of tools you're going to need. All right. Got a basic assortment of sockets right here. Hammer, screwdriver, bunch of hex keys, uh, three eight half inch extension. That's a tool of mine. And I also got some hooks because I know I'm going to have a bike hanging up and I need to hang up the brake caliper, I think. Also, get you two water bottles, clean them out, and I need to find a razor blade to cut those bottles in half. I legit almost forgot the important part. Fucking fork oil. I'm running with the Maxima. I don't know if this is going to turn in video, but yeah. Maxima, fork oil, uh, anti-foaming, reduced drag, 20 weight. Cool. This is what we slapping in here. All right, y'all, so what I'm gonna do now is get this front wheel off. I'm gonna try and call out some of the stuff that I'm using while doing it. That way I can, yeah, guide y'all through this shit. I'm horrible with making these videos, man. I really am. I own this shit, but fuck around and have fun. I'm not in this for the money or anything like that. It's really just fun to me. This right here, a uh, small side of your axle, 14 millimeter. And if I'm correct, the bigger side, <clears throat> 17 mil. I really should have had done this before I put this wheel back on. I've done some sketch things in my time, but this right here, man, the way I had this bike jacked up, at any given moment, this bitch can fall the fuck over. I need to get my wires right or something. Something's not hooked the way it was. Oh, well. Uh, grab my hammer, tap it out. One 
fork loose. I'll just one piece of the tire out. Grab the wheel. Let go of the speed sensor. I'm gonna let it roll out together. So, here you go. Everything you need, all in one. Wheel-wise, I'm gonna sit the wheel there. Now, I think the next thing I want to do is remove the brake caliper via these two tent. See, bro, I can't be poking this way. Uh, remove the brake caliper right there, and I'm gonna hang it somewhere, maybe off the exhaust or just somewhere out the way. That way, I can pull the fork out of the triple tree. Keep up with your screws and stuff. I gotta remove the speed sensor line as well. It's another 10 mil speed sensor line. Basically everything on this bike is a 10 or 8 mil. So you keep up with all the screws. And now I am to the point. I should be able to Bust all of these damn hex nuts open and you get it out. The hex key you're gonna need is a six millimeter. On the bike, you got one, two, three, and it should release and pull out. If not, it's gonna drop down into the handlebar, but it ain't gonna drop far. It's just gonna hit that bar before it leaves. But yeah, I'm gonna break these three and get the fork out. should have done a long time ago because I practically finger broke that bolt. Let me figure this shit out before I end up having to pick this bike up off this floor. This is not going to be All right, now that we got the forks off the bike, my dumb ass sat here and forgot to get some kind of bucket to catch my fluid in. So give me a sec. I'm going to go find a bucket that way I can catch all the fluid in. I'm going to show you how to open them up and get the shit out. All right, got my little drain bucket here. And I already got the top hat broke loose on this one. The socket I used was literally a one inch socket. If you ain't got a one inch socket, you can use a, can I get over there to that? No, I can't zoom with one finger. Uh, you can use a adjustable, but next I'm going to carefully pour what is in this shock into that bowl. Stay tuned. I think I'm going to be losing this socket right here because I can't get it off. But here we go. You're going to tilt it down. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Like I'm holding pressure here. I got the back side of the shock in my hand. And when I release that pressure, you see nothing happens. Got a little leakage until I pull the shot back. Yeah. I really just got it tilted upside down right now. All of that 
is what's coming out this shop. I guess it's a screw on or something. I hope. Hope I ain't breaking no that shit. Alright, so I thought you got all your fluid right here. You're gonna cut the tops off of these bottles. You're gonna take this fluid and put it in one bottle. And you're gonna draw a line, measure it out, and put the same amount of fluid of your fork, your new fork oil, in this bottle. And then you're gonna pour it back into the fork. The, of course, I'm talking about the new fork oil. Don't sit here and try and pour both of these shits back in that same fucking fork. Get rid of this. Pour this in there. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to go. Let me get these bottles cut open and clean real quick. All right, Right about even, smidge it more. And that's just to make sure I get my compression that I'm looking for. All right, as you can see, I went extra. What the fuck is going on with my camera? Okay, got a little extra in there to make up for what could possibly be in the bucket, still down in there on the floor. And yeah, I'm gonna pour this into the shop. Now, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not about to sit here and give you some long ass video of me doing this to a shop. You know what the fuck you gotta do. Get over here, get the pumping, get your air bubbles out, and get it done. All right, you know what it is. Repeat the process for the second shock. Let everything out. Let it drain. Can we do that? Okay. You need to do that in the bucket so it don't squirt extra fluid out on the floor. Hi, right, YouTube. Now that we're done, all I did was just take the bike down. And I can already tell you, my bike sits about a half inch higher. And if you look at the pedal travels, it will be on the right side. Off the kickstand and me sitting down, my front end doesn't move anymore. Even if I'm bouncing, my front end is just sinking in. I can't hit my brakes now. And I have response. Like, I will actually, I mean, speaking too soon, but. I feel comfortable practicing stockings now, knowing I'm not going to have a brake stash and fill it. But yeah, 20 weight four cool. Did it. I can feel the bike, as I say, the bike feels stiffer. Feels more rigid. It feels like. It feels like a real grunt with just four cool. So. I appreciate y'all for watching the video. I know a lot of people, this is a mod. This is not a lot of people. If you have a Grom clone, this is a mod you need to do. Change the fork oil. I waited a thousand miles before I did mine. Don't be like me. Do your shit as soon as you get the bike. So fresh out the box. It's a better feel. It ain't even worth trying to experience the before and after. But yeah, change your fork oil. And that will help. Tighten up that front end, bounciness. I don't know if everybody has it. I know my bike had it to where when I, after I sat down on it, it already shrunk about two inches. And then I hit the brake and I could feel the whole bike like bottom out. Now it doesn't bottom out at all. And hopefully this will feel better in the stunt life. 
Yes, stunt lots coming soon. Stay tuned. This bike is going to be in the lots a lot more often. We're getting out the streets. We're going to do this thing the right way. So I appreciate y'all for watching the video today. Subscribe, share the video, and subscribe. Love y'all. Have a good day.